All right, this is Sam from Fragbyte here at IM Cologne. I'm sitting here with Dexter, um, former jungler of uh, Count Logia Gaming and now just analyst. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I've been here for like three days now in Cologne and I love Cologne. It's, it's my city, you know, yeah. just like all the people. And it's really good to see friends back then. And then, I mean, everyone is here that I, I'm friends with and it's just a really cool event. And I, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to just uh, do this analyst thing that I really think is actually really fun, yeah. So, I mean, uh, if we start off where, I guess, uh, everything uh, left off, rather, with your career, uh, you left Counter Logic Gaming uh, a couple of months ago, at least, after, um, I guess, a pretty controversial stint with the team. And, like, could you just, like, when you left, what was the motivating decision behind it? Did you feel that you'd stagnated, or did you feel the team just didn't work anymore? Um, well, I think the team we worked out well, like we worked together very well in the spring split, and then Yen left, and then we got Seraph, and then we were like ranked one for like five weeks or something, and then there was a turning point where I just said, okay, um, even when we at the like I made the decision to leave yeah. probably or wanting to leave or looking for something else, even when we were at rank one. So because I just felt like the team is the team environment is not for me, and I'm. I'm just, I just valued my own happiness above like success, so I just decided even if we go to Worlds and everything, I will probably leave the team, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I don't have any hard feelings with CLG, I'm still good friends with like Aframu and like other teams, you know, I talked a lot to like Skara and Zix, the analysts of CLG, I'm super good friends with like the management still and then no hard feelings at all, it just, you know, it didn't work out and I just wanted to be like happy for myself and I know that I can't be really happy with like an environment like this, so. Did, um, did having a reality TV show in the form of Chasing the Cup, obviously it's made to appear more dramatic than what is actually, you know, happening in real life. Did you feel that that maybe just poured uh, fuel on the fire um, amongst the community in terms of like the relations within the team was it ever actually as dramatic or bad as that show pointed it and painted it to be i mean the show had a point you know like every team has problems i mean just because you had c9 as a contrast doesn't really count because c9 is the perfect team you know they get along very well they have success they win everything they're like the most dominant team in like western League of Legends right now because they they just win everything you know so there there are less problems in their team but of course they have arguments but those arguments don't make it in the scene and then if you're a team that is like very controversial and like bipolar or like polarizing fan base and everything like TSM CLG it's a lot more dramatic yeah and I think in the end I actually regret doing the chasing the cup thing because I mean it's great to see like have insight in all the things but it actually portrayed like players very wrong I think and Especially me, I got like a lot of flack for like how I acted in this one episode or something and people just come to me and say, hey, is it really that bad? And I said, it's just normal, you know, it's like in every team it's like this and but people don't understand this. And yeah, in the end, I would have said that if I would have made the decision to not make Chasing the Cup, I think I would have not get so much like not hate, but just controversial things. Yeah, this guy is not friends with him. He doesn't play dual queue with him. He hates him. It's not true, you know. It just people just get the wrong impression. But um, I mean, it got illustrated very wrong, I think, in a very wrong manner, and you can't really change it, you know. But yeah, in the end, I think it was a big mistake to do that. Yeah. I was a bit interested since you mentioned that Cloud9 that they are. That why they're strong is not just because they're really just good at the game, but they can all just actually work together perfectly. Because it seems as if, I guess, to draw a parallel with you would be them and in Lemon Dogs that you know that yeah you managed to when you managed to get second in this summer split last year, and it was like looking back now it doesn't seem to be made up of the I guess you could say members that are the most stable or like easy to work with in that sense so I mean yeah uh, how, uh, uh, how did it then feel like w were you just then a team of really solid players but you just managed to work like in game but never out game or like how did it actually work Mithy and Nuke Duck got banned for yeah. their statements and everything and Tubbs got a lot of like controversial things you know and then Zoro Zero was always the guy who didn't care about anything else but to play the game and even when, when you think like it was hard to work with those players, we actually got along very well, you know? Like everyone was this, I mean, we had like different personalities in the team, but we, were, we meshed so well together and everything, and we got along super well. And 
we were, we were very good friends in the time of them dogs. I'm still like good friends with everyone, you know. I just talk, talk to them. I mean, of course, I was a bit salty when um, when they ditched me, basically. Yeah. But it's like just normal. And then, I mean, I'm very good friends with them still. And then Eric was, yeah. I mean, it just you might have like personality like conflicts, but in them dogs, we just like everyone had his own problems, but everything worked out, you know. And then we just came together. We just enjoyed playing the game, we really wanted to play, you know. We didn't we didn't get forced to scrim or anything. We wanted to scrim, you know. And when we scrimmed like for eight hours during the split, we actually decided, okay, we actually wanna scrim like ten hours, you know, and then no one had a problem with it and then we actually want to scrim and then do it like with like hard work we actually got to the point where we were so good in our whole like positions and everything. I mean season three was a meta where it was not very established. The game, everyone did his own thing and you could win games by just winning lane yeah. and I mean we got carried away by the fact that we could just crush lanes really hard and then we didn't have to have the best team play to actually win games but yeah I mean I really liked Lemon Dogs you know it just was a mix of very interesting people for sh that's for sure but yeah I actually miss like playing with those guys I mean I could the thing is I could imagine actually like forming the same team again and playing with them and then seeing what happens but uh, I mean Mithy obviously got announced for like Origin and um, Nuke Duck is still looking for what he does. Zoro Zero completely retired, I think. I don't think he's uh, completely retired, but um, maybe he's coming back. And then Eric wants to play too, but yeah, I just, yeah. It was a very cool time, definitely. And it was not like CLG, you know, that's for sure. So then, how do you look then in terms of your own future and playing? Because obviously there'll be some some more shuffles before the next season starts. So I'm just wondering, are you looking to get into Challenger? Have you had any offers of maybe joining LCS teams? Or like, is that what you want to do now? Or do you find it like anal and being on an analysis desk like a much like stress-free environment and more nice suited to you? Or I mean, I made, when I left CLG, I made the decision that I don't want to look for anything right now. I just want to relax for like two or three months until the end of the year and then the next year I want to see what I can do, you know. I had some offers that I could have pursued in like Challenger, I had like Brazilian offer too but I mean I got a couple of offers that I could have pursued but uh, in the end it's like I just want to see what happens, you know, I just want to like experience like this whole endless desk, it's like very cool. I, I like talking about the game, I like watching the game still and everything but right as of right now I don't really play that much because I don't I just want to not get burnt out you know and then in case I will play which I probably will in the next year um, I don't get burned out from that because I just played like for two years straight I didn't really have an off season like any other because when it happened with Lemon Dogs I had to stay in shape I had to practice like 14 hours of solo queue a day to actually make like tryouts and everything and that's the biggest problem there is no real off season in league when you have like so many roster changes because everyone wants to be in shape and wants to look good and everything and then I went to CLG and then this whole visa thing happened you know I was like so stressed out and then I went home for like one week I was actually at All Stars and then I had to go to America again and play and practice because we had like a, a top lane issue like like near and left and then I never had an off season and then I decided I actually want to have like a bit of a break for myself to like just regain myself and everything and yeah and then I'm looking forward to what's happen what happens next year you know I just want to I really enjoy like doing endless work of course I'm I'm not the best right now but I the Fischio and like F here and everyone they actually help me out a lot and then I'm getting better at it I could imagine doing that in the future but I'm still a player you know like I'm a player in my heart I, when I see the game I'm actually very passionate still and I have the drive to win. I really want to win, you know, and, and I need to prove people that uh, CLG was not the end, you know. I, I don't want to play my last game in relegations. If I want to stop playing, then I want to accomplish something. I want to be at the top again, you know, and I would be willing to work for that. But as of right now, I just decided, yeah, I don't want to do, do like stuff that stresses me out because it was very stressful, I have to admit. And yeah, endless test is very cool. I prepared a lot to like, be like to, to make the good impression that I actually know stuff. I mean, I still play the game. I know stuff about the game, you know. It's not like I completely like forgot everything, but um, yeah, I just I just enjoy like having no stress at the moment, and I I really value the time where I don't have to do anything or no practice, and that's what I'm doing right now. And then yeah, next year I actually look forward to play again if I can. If not, I mean, who knows? You know, it's just esports. It's just changing. Everything can happen, and maybe I work. And analyze more often, and then do stuff there. Or 
I could actually go back to university in September or something if I want to, but yeah, I'm not sure. All right then. Well, I guess you explained everything there was to ask in that yeah, final answer, so <laughs> no, no problem. But just then, uh, I guess the final word's yours if you have any. Yeah, I mean, thanks for sticking with me. If I still have, I mean, if I still have fans out there, of course. Um, I really appreciate all the support and feedback and everything for the analyst desk work and there are actually people out there who really want to see me play again and I appreciate all of them, like all the, of the fans, of the true fans and yeah, I'm actually looking forward to see what happens next and yeah. Thanks a lot. For Thanks for having me. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.